Are you feeling burdened, weighed down by fears or doubts? Perhaps life's storms have left you feeling lost, like you're stuck in miry clay, sinking further with each step. Maybe you're struggling to see a way out, feeling distant from hope, and your heart aches for relief, for strength, and for guidance. As you prepare to pray, know this, the love of Christ Jesus, the same love that overcame death and lives within you today, has the power to pull you from that clay, to lift you from despair, and mold your heart from fear to faith, from doubt to fortitude. This prayer is not just words, it is a declaration of trust, a movement of the Spirit. With every line, let His blood wash over your doubts, let His strength anchor your heart, and let His peace settle over your soul. Through the words of this prayer, feel His hand reaching into the depths of your heart, cleansing you, reviving you, and empowering you to stand firm. Let this prayer be a beacon of hope, a promise of the light that no darkness can overcome. Heavenly Father, hear my prayer. This is the day that the Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad in it, Psalm 118 24. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of gladness found in you. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me, Psalm 51 10. Cast me not away from your presence, and restore unto me the joy of your salvation. Uphold me with your free spirit, and I will teach transgressors your ways by the way of the cross, in the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, Psalm 51 11 13. I come to you tonight in praise and thanksgiving. You are good and worthy to be praised, and I lift your name on high, Psalm 145 3. I will make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth. I will serve you, O Lord, with gladness, entering your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with praise. I will be thankful to you and bless your name, Psalm 101 4. Lord, please forgive me for the many sins I have committed against your holy and precious name. Forgive me for my willful disobedience when you were guiding me, though I was too blind or ignorant to see. Father, I ask that you help me to see and give me the wisdom not to be ignorant, so I can make the choice to follow your direction. Lord, grant me ears to hear your voice so I can discern when you speak to me, through my daily life, through my time with you, and through your word, John 10 27. Lord Jesus, I ask that the words you have spoken remain with me all the days of my life, that I may be a living vessel filled with your spirit and word, as a child of God in the kingdom of priests here on earth, 1 Peter 2 9. Use me, O Lord, may your will for me align with my will. Lord, I yearn to have faith, the faith as small as a mustard seed, that I may move mountains for your kingdom, and that I may reduce my mountains to molehills, Matthew 17 20. Thank you, God, for the gift of your word and for the many parables you left us, these earthly stories with heavenly meanings. Thank you for the new revelations I receive as I obey your word. Lord, may your Holy Spirit always remind me of the things he has heard from the Father, John 14 26. Thank you, Father God, for without you, we can do nothing, John 15 5. Lord, I believe, help my unbelief, Mark 9 24. Teach me to remain humble in you and in the presence of your Holy Spirit. You showed me when I cried out to you and prayed to you. I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears, Psalm 34 4. Thank you for delivering me from every fear I face, for every fear I face with you will be demolished by the spiritual authority you have given me through the blood shed for us. You take my fears, as large as mountains, and toss them into the sea, Matthew 21 21. All by your faith, I thank you, my God and my King. Blessed Savior, blessed Redeemer, and Holy King. You are God and God alone. Elohim, Adonai, Adonai Ehad, Ruach Elohim. I pray this in the precious name of your Son, Christ Jesus, who died so that we may live an eternal life with the joy we find in you, and by the power of your Holy Spirit, John 3 16. Amen.